everyone from MarsCon and also people who aren't from MarsCon but are watching this anyway. Um, hi, I'm Luke Ski. I'm uh, the chair of the MarsCon comedy music track and I want to welcome you all to this very special thing uh, as a part of the MarsCon 2021 virtual masquerade ball that we're calling the MarsCon comedy music sampler platter. Uh, so uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, uh, I'll explain that, or rather I'll have somebody else explain that in just a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to dive right in to some comedy music by one of the Twin Cities' most beloved performers of music, both funny and otherwise. You've seen her around many conventions, and she is one of the people that helps throw the uh, room party floors Space Oddity Music Club and Brew Pub every year, so look out for the fundraiser they uh, always do for that. Uh, but here she is, without the player characters, the wonderful Beth Kinderman! Hey MarsCon, Beth Kinderman here, without the player characters at the moment, uh, but I'll play a couple songs for you solo. Hope you're all staying safe and managing to have fun in our long, conventionless wasteland that we're all currently living through. And I also hope you're still finding ways to keep up your Dungeons & Dragons games. And if you're not, let this song be an inspiration to start again. This is supposedly a true story. switch and I'll play one more for you. Ooh, there it is. Ah oh, yes. The many joys of the ukulele and um, the many joys of the snap. Gotta sing this one.
Hashtag Planks Thanos. Hashtag Please Thanos. Hashtag Thanks Thanos. Hashtag Thanks Thanos. Well, there you have it. Uh, stick around for some more great music from comedy musicians and friends of MarsCon. Stay safe, stay healthy, I really miss you all, and I look forward to seeing you again at MarsCon this year, whether that's in person or virtually. See you, folks. Thank you so much, Beth. Uh, very appreciated that you uh, contributed to the thing. Um, so yeah, uh, as, as I said before, uh, I'm the chair of the MarsCon Comedy Music Track, formerly known as the MarsCon Dementia Track, and if you don't have any idea what either of those are, uh, I brought in an expert to explain it all to you. Uh, so take it away, expert person. Greetings, twin citizens. Yes, your worst fears are confirmed. For it is I, Dr. Milo T. Pinkerton III, founder and leader of the Consortium of Genius, feared music guests of honor of MarsCon 2012, making me the foremost authority on the MarsCon comedy music track, not to mention the foremost authority on everything in the world! Now, it seems that some of you don't know where the MarsCon comedy music track came from, or even what it is. Whilst being less smart than me is normal for all of you, nonetheless, you shall be educated, whether you like it or love it. Since the dawn of recorded time in the year 2003, a hip-hopper of the Yankovician tradition, known as the Great Luke Ski, wowed the MarsCon masquerade audience dressed as a bending unit, and later did a packed concert in their room party floor karaoke room. This bamboozled the con staff into allowing him and his cohorts of funny song-making into performing there in 2004, when their music guest of honor was the legendary radio DJ and purveyor of mad music and crazy comedy, the one and only Dr. Demento! Whom, by the way, is the only other doctor for whom I have the slightest bit of respect! <laughs> this resulted in gut-busting laughter of devastating proportions. So much so, that when MarsCon allowed this programming to continue in 2005, it was named after Dr. Demento himself. And thus, what came to be known as the MarsCon Dementia Track was born. For 18 years running, this consortium of genialness has grown out of control to become the world's longest running fandom convention comedy music concert track. Why, they have hosted some of the greatest comedy musicians on planet Earth, including Judy Tenuta, the Consortium of Genius, MC Lars, the Consortium of Genius, Paul and Storm, and the Consortium of Genius. With over 70 comedy music acts having performed there over the years, it was decided this year to rebrand the track as the MarsCon Comedy Music Track. The same amount of demented music, now with a more accurately descriptive moniker to lure in all those rubes from Brainerd and beyond. In conclusion, this MarsCon comedy music track is clearly the most important use of your valuable time and resources and worthy of channeling your entire operating budget into. Why, that is, if you wish to ensure your continued survival. <laughs> I shall now graciously return control of this video feed to Lukeski, so that he may present to you audiosonic evidence of the extreme veracity of my claims. Attend! That is, attend MarsCon, whether in person or virtually. And as always, bow to the cog! Cog! So there you have it. Uh, we are transitioning from calling it the MarsCon Dementia Track to the MarsCon Comedy Music Track. Uh, so right now, at the time I'm recording this, the website for our track is MarsConDementia.com. We will soon be changing it over to MarsConComedy.com. And um, yeah, 
uh, uh, hopefully that will get more people to show up for our concerts because they'll know that comedy music is what we're doing. Um, so there we go. Uh, coming up next, we have uh, another person who has performed at MarsCon uh, multiple times. Uh, he went out for his 20th anniversary tour at the beginning of 2020, and he said he wanted to make sure MarsCon was on his 2020 20th anniversary tour, and I'm very glad that he did that, and so was he, because it turned out to be the only tour date he was able to do before the quarantine started. But nonetheless, he is awesome, and he was very gracious to supply us with some live performance for this thing. So here is the wonderful Mark with a C! Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries of the People's Republic of this here virtual MarsCon type Deedly Bob, hello! My name is Mark with a C. I'm an interactive singer, songwriter, storyteller, and judging by the non-existent calendar on my very real and non-existent wall, I've noticed it's getting close to the time of year where we sing the holiday classics and I'm nothing if not a sucker for sentimentality, so let's go and sing one. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it, you'd say it glows All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names They'd never let Paul Rudolph join any reindeer games Never let him join in any reindeer games. And then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came around to say, We're off with you know so Fun fact, uh, the world shut down, and as a result, I wasn't able to do my 20th anniversary tour. Uh, I got to do one show, though, and guess where that show was? It was at MarsCon. That's it. That was the last time I played in front of a room full of people, and it's my 20th anniversary year that I've been planning for for so long. But how cool is it that I get to come right back here? And I, so I went and looked at the, the set list going, well, I don't want to play stuff I already played for that headlining set on the Friday night where you can swear, so I'll have to get somewhat different. But there is an upside, a very small upside, to not being able to play in roomfuls of people. Besides, you know, not getting sick, but the, um, here's the perk. Every time a large group of people congregate, it's usually to look at something. Sometimes it's the actions of a person. And if that's the case, it doesn't matter if that's a symphony, a TED talk, someone just showing off their magic cards, does not matter. At some point, someone in the congregation of folks is waiting for the person doing a thing to pause, even for two seconds, so they can yell, play Freebird. And, as a result of playing no shows besides the one at MarsCon earlier this year, I have not heard a single person yell, play Freebird at me while performing. Anyways, I've only got time for one more. Thanks for having me. Thanks to the great Lukeski for asking me back. And this song is called Freebird. Well, I'm sick of cleaning out this cage And I was tempted 
avian allergies. I'm giving away a bird, and a loving home is preferred. You don't gotta be rich to spill that bird seed dish, then you got yourself a bird. Yep. And this bird you'll never change. So just give me three steps, mister. Three steps to the door. This bird is totally free. That's my decree. So I'll say grazie. Grazie. If you'll relieve my avian allergies, I'm giving away a bird. Oh, I'm giving away a bird. Cause I'm totally free to take my parakeet. Yeah, I'm giving away a bird. I'm giving Three, four. I'm Mark with a C. You're fantastic. I'll see you next time, and we will meet again. Night, everybody. I'll tell you one thing about that Mark with a C. He sure can't steam a good ham. So thank you, Mark. Uh, up next, we have the person who was the music guest of honor at last year's Mars Con, who I'm so happy she was able to make it out. Uh, the, she is the psycho super mom herself. Give it up for Lauren Mayer. Hey, everybody at Mars Con. Lauren Mayer here. I am delighted to be part of this. I wish we could all be in person. But since we can't, I'm really thrilled that Luke Ski has put together this wonderful performance for all of you to enjoy. And I thought I would start my set with a song that's a little musical public service announcement about what we all can do to make it possible for us to get together in person real soon. So here we go. <laughs> hey, fashion world, hey, Cosmo girl. In trends you may bask, but these days you're never fully dressed without a mask. Find matching ones, it can be fun, not that hard a task, as long as you're never fully dressed without a mask. It shows you care about others, trust data and use your head. Cause what you wear from ear to ear will help prevent the spread of COVID. If states want to reopen from Kansas to Alaska, tell them you're never fully dressed without a mask. Oh, the lovely Oive sisters. Do 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 wash your hands and wear a mask. We know it works. Stop being jerks. So selfish and crass. Cause honey, the experts have all stressed. You're never dressed without an M-A-S-K mask. These nutja protesters have such a lame argument. If you don't like cloth on your face, you'll really hate a ventilator. So Costco Joe, so Starbucks Schmo, don't be a jackass. Come on, we ask, spare us your protest and give that crap a rest. 
You're never fully dressed without a mask, 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 darn you, mask. Thank you, thank you. Um, for those of you who were at MarsCon this year and February, otherwise it's known as before COVID, I had the privilege of being your guest of honor, which was such a thrill. I had such a great time and the whole community there was so nice to me, even though I was a little surprised to be invited. I did not think a middle-aged suburban Jewish mother would be a guest of honor at a fan convention. I thought I wasn't hip enough. And part of that is, um, well, okay, let me explain what I do. I do uh, weekly topical comedy songs. Let's just say I've done a lot about COVID, and I put out a video every week. If you want to follow me, um, I'm Psycho Supermom on YouTube, or just go to laurenmayer.com, where I have all my albums and things. Um, anyway, when I started doing my videos once a week, uh, back in 2012, my younger son was a teenager at the time, and he cautioned me against getting my hopes up, because as he put it, you know, Mom, anything over 100 views is viral for old people. But I've actually, I mean, I'm no threat to Taylor Swift, but um, some of my songs have done pretty well. I've gotten a couple with a few million views and almost as many trolls. And fortunately, though the trolls were really scary at first, I realized uh, after reading their comments that the only thing to which they posed a serious threat was the English language. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm still putting out my songs. If you want to follow me, um, I have several albums out. And um, it turns out as much as I thought only a real hip rock and roll performer would be the appropriate fit for MarsCon, it turns out even at my advanced age, I can still find plenty of things to rock and roll about. So I'm going to end with a song that Luxie specifically requested um, and just to prove that middle-aged suburban moms can sometimes get down and rock and roll. So let me pull this up. I love being my own engineer. Here we go. Mars Con, are you ready to rock and roll? My mood is edgy, my nerves are fried. I can't control it, God knows I've tried. I'm either crying or in a rage. There's no denying I'm acting my age. But what makes it twice as frightening is that my kid is going through the exact same thing. Hormone hell at my house. Hormone hell at my house. Mom's been a puzzle with a teen in puberty. Not a pretty sight to see. Around her, no one talks and we can yell Cause we're in hormone hell Once he was pleasant and I was too Now he's an adolescent and I'm a shrew He's locked in his room, headphones on his ears Catholic commercials reduce me to tears they say misery loves company, but I'm not sure if that applies to my son and me. Hormone hell at my house. Hormone hell at my house. Mom's menopausal with a teen in puberty. Not a pretty sight to see. Around her, no one talks and we can yell. Cause we're in hormone hell. Instrumental. <laughs> He feels despondent, I'm wound up tight. He feels lethargic, I sweat all night. His rude comments make me cry. He's sprouting facial hair, and so am I. The only thought that relieves my curse is that I hear with a daughter, it's even worse. Hormone hell at my house. Hormone hell at my house. Mom's been a puzzle with a teen in puberty. Not a pretty sight to see. Everybody around here, no one talks and we can yell. Cause we're in hormone hell. Cause we're in hormone hell. 
Cause we're in Harbone Hey Thank you so much, Mars Khan. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be here, and I hope to see you in person real soon. Thank you so much, Lauren. We are not worthy of your rock. Um, so up next, another Mars Khan music guest of honor from the past. Actually, that was the year before Lauren, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, somebody who has been involved with the Mars Khan comedy music track from very nearly the beginning. It's one of his favorite conventions to do every year, and he makes it almost every year. I'm so happy he's there. He's my partner over at thefump.com, which is the Funny Music Project, if that hasn't been mentioned enough during this show. The Funny Music Project, thefump.com. It's where you can get new comedy songs twice a week for free. It's awesome. Dr. Demento loves us. You should love us. Go to thefump.com. Anyway, this guy is the guy who runs that website, and he has also done music with me for many years, and um, he's uh, he and I co-host the weekly Fump podcast on Thursday nights. Uh, um, and he's, uh, I like to call him, uh, much to my own chagrin, uh, the <laughs> undisputed king of rap dementia. Here is my very good friend, Devo Spice! What's up, everyone? My name is Devo Spice. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen me at past Mars Cons, I do comedy rap. I describe myself as the red-headed stepson of Weird Al Yankovic and Eminem. I've been coming to MarsCon since uh, 2005, and I love it. Uh, I had the number one song on the Dr. Demento show in 2019, so check that out. It's a song, it's a song about uh, in the movie Into the Spider-Verse, which is one of my favorite films, um, and I love MarsCon. I really hope we get to do it in person this March, but you know, we'll see. Um, it will be so much cooler if you get to see me in person than what you're about to see here, because I'll be on stage with like a real sound system and stuff, and I won't be in my basement dressed like a slob. You know, it'll just be so much cooler. Um, but uh, yeah, MarsCon is one of my favorite conventions. Uh, obviously, I love the comedy music track. I'm a big fan of the science track, the costumes, the guests, everything, especially the con suite. And here's why. Daddy. What? Daddy. What? Daddy. What? Daddy. What? Daddy. What? Daddy. What? What do you want? Can I have a snack? I'm gonna pop some corn Got a bag of cheese doodles in my pocket I, I, I'm hungry Looking for some junk food This stuff's freaking awesome I woke up in the middle of the night To hear my stomach roar I was just dreaming about some snacks from the corner store Drive into Wendy's, order a Frosty The clerk be like don't want no healthy food, salad, or a cantaloupe. Train me so much meat that I could barbecue an antelope. Show me so much food in me, it forced a lesser man to choke. Then I wash it down with an icy cold can of Coke. <laughs> now that's what I mean. Fritos, Cheetos, Doritos, I'm gonna buy them all in those Queso dip with Benito goes with my bag of Tostitos. All of this is gonna feed a hungry man when he's in need of something salty to eat or some stuff to put on a pita. I'ma get this bag of chips, I'ma get this bag of chips You know what would go good with that? Another bag of chips Goldfish and cheese puffs or anything is orange I could get all of it, I got plenty of storage I had a Dale Donut, I bought a Dale Donut Now guess what I did with it? Oh, come on, you know what? Hello, ooh, double stuff is back in fashion Pac-Man ain't got nothing on my snacking passion I could get some hot wings, those go pretty fast, son The guy behind me's like, oh man, he got the last one I'm gonna pop some corn Got a bag of cheese doodles in my pocket I, I, I'm hungry, looking for some junk food This stuff's freaking awesome I'm gonna pop some corn Got a bag of cheese doodles in my pocket I, I, I'm hungry, looking for some junk food This stuff's freaking awesome What you know about barbecue with spicy nacho? What you know about cool ranch or sriracha? I'm hunting, I'm crunching, empty bags left in a pile One big mess is what I'm leaving in the aisle Thank the genius who created cheese with That can make his vegan I'm pretty sure there's no organic matter in it I'm at the shop right, you can find me in the candy aisle Go somewhere else if there are stare at chocolate for 
her a while, the Hershey's, the Angie's, the sweet gummy candies. I'll take them all in plain and fancy, but you can keep that nutter butter. Just put it back, cause I can't eat that nutter butter. I'm freaking allergic, just leave that nutter butter. Clerk be like, sir, do you want paper or plastic? And I'm like, whoa, $80 worth of junk food. I think I could eat up anything upon this earth, but $80 for that bounty? I think that was well worth it. I call that much better than a sandwich. I call that a freaking midnight snack, bitch. I forgot the cookie dough. And this tub of jello and pudding's not expired. I don't like how it's looking, though. Eat game, check out what I chow on late at night. Trying to make sense of an endless appetite. That's my appetite. Good stuff. I'm gonna pop some corn Got a bag of cheese doodles in my pocket I, I, I'm hungry Looking for some junk food This stuff's freaking awesome Now when I stuff my face I'm in my happy place I love the way it tastes Not a crumb will go to waste Now when I stuff my face I'm in my happy place I love the way it tastes Not a crumb will go to waste I'm gonna pop some corn Got a bag of cheese doodles in my pocket I, I, I'm hungry Looking for some junk food This stuff's freaking awesome Brought to you by New Nabisco Shiznits The official snack food of hip-hop Nabisco Yeah, yeah This is the part where I pretend I'm listening to uproarious applause and laughter rather than the very loud sighing of my son who is in the next room Seriously, I can hear him rolling his eyes. So as I said, my name is Devo Spice. Uh, it's not a legal name, obviously. It's my nickname, stage name. Um, nicknames are fun because sometimes you get to pick your own nickname and sometimes somebody else picks it for you. For example, I have a friend who goes by the name Shoebox. And one day Shoebox decided that my name was going to be Dinky McDiddly Boots. Yeah. He posted on my Facebook wall, Your name is now Dinky McDiddly Boots. I apologize for any inconvenience. Me being the wise ass that I am, did this. Well, I'm a hip-hop maven. Rhymes that I'm craving. Beard with the lines that I'm shaving. Weird, but at times I'm amazing. Not to be feared, but sometimes I think I'm kind of crazy. Lazy. Sit around the house putting popcorn. Mouse button clicking on a picture full of hot porn. Picking up laundry. Gold wood is not torn. Find a pair of underwear there that I've not worn. Got a name that the rap game gave me. Crowd shouted loud while they clapping or raving. Crowd of the rowdiness happening daily. Cloud nine rhymes because I'm fracking amazing. Till one day when a strange man changed it. Willed his way in his brain now reigns it. Changed my name to this whack identity. While he's out back playing Pac-Man and Centipede My name is Dinky McDiddly Boots My music is plinky and riddle and fuse Ned Flanders thinks it diddly doos But I'm MC Dinky McDiddly Boots My name is Dinky McDiddly Boots My music is plinky and riddle and fuse Pac-Man eats inky and blinking and fruits But I'm MC Dinky McDiddly Boots Now I gotta make changes to everything Every song's wrong so the files will never ping Miles of lyrics to compile with a clever string While I clear it with Google and even Bing And because of this stupid jerk I have to update all my paperwork great now I'm late for work, name on my license has changed to reflected drivers, marriage and bikini inspectors. My whole life's turned upside down, I obliged this clown and my wife skipped town. I found at work they would leave me out of meetings, but call me all day to play voicemail greetings. This may be his crowning achievement, I'm drowning in spite, but I try to be lenient, I've seen it. This may sound trite, but I mean it, this really is quite inconvenient. My name is Dinky McDiddly Boots. My music is plinky and riddle and fuse. Ned Flanders thinks in diddly doos, but I'm MC Dinky McDiddly Boots. My name is Dinky McDiddly Boots. My music is plinky and riddle and fuse. Shoebox is a big mean stinkity poop. Now I'm MC Dinky McDiddly Boots. My name is what? My name is who? My name is Dinky McDiddly Boots. So thank you very much for allowing me to appear on this little thing. Uh, you can find me at devospice.com, devospice.bandcamp.com, on Twitter at devospice, on Facebook at devospice. I am devospice everywhere. Seriously, I am not hard to find. Be sure to check out my Doctor Who concept album, I Am The Doctor. Yeah, there it is. And my latest album, which is called The Anarchist Joke Book. And they're just hard to find with the glare. Um... These albums can be found wherever finer comedy music is sold, or streamed, or pirated, whatever. We now return you to the great Luke Ski and whatever the hell he has next. 
Thank you so much, Mr. McDiddly, I mean, Devo Spice. Um, all right, so we have a person who is going to be the music guest of honor for MarsCon 2021 who has never been to MarsCon before. Super excited about this. He has performed at FunkFest, our own little uh, event that we do out in Chicago when there isn't a disease ravaging the world. Um, and uh, we have set this up just so you all know that whether MarsCon happens in person or MarsCon happens as a virtual event in 2021, either way, uh, he will still be our music guest of honor and still be a part of the whole thing. So that's cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much uh, to the man about to perform. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Robbie Ellis! A one, a two, a one, two, three! Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins everywhere! Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins everywhere! Pumpkin is a difficult word to repeat that many times But it's what the United States looks like when we fall into autumnal climes Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins everywhere The overabundance of pumpkins is a thing that doth perplex Is the United States in the grip of the pumpkin industrial complex? Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins everywhere. This song is in seven, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins everywhere. Everybody, pumpkins, 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 pumpkins everywhere. Hello, my name's Robbie Ellis, and I'm very excited to be the guest of honor in the MarsCon Dementia Track 2021. That is the title song of my 2018 and only album, Pumpkins. It will be available at the merch table. You can also find it on like all of the streaming services and Bandcamp as well. Uh, I am recording this the week after election week 2020, uh, and I have written a song to mark the occasion, because I think we all, we all need something like this right now. Now we can all just breathe, all just breathe. Take a minute and feel relieved. Things might just be okay We'll look forward to the day When Saturday Night Live doesn't start every episode With a political cold open The nation can now heal Unclench, you're free to feel Now that our government elect Hold science and data to be real I faith it's something they can handle Without incessant scandal And that Alec Baldwin can finally go to bed before 2 a.m. Eastern We'll still have that pandemic We'll still have his polemic And Lorne Michaels may still rely too heavily on celebrity cameos but in the aftermath of a dangerous sociopath The president can now be portrayed by one of the seven white guys in the core cast Maybe You voted for history A black woman as VP And though Maya Rudolph's great, she left the SNL cast when Bush was in the White House the country needs a reset, and SNL also needs a reset. Kate McKinnon doesn't have to do every last impression. Chloe Fineman could take one or two of them. Mm -hmm. Now we can breathe, just breathe. 
Breathe, just breathe And hope that Engo, Wodum and Bo and Yang Get to take over weekend update And when that clock strikes 11.30 Any given set turdy Alec Baldwin can appear as host for the 18th time. Well, that song won't last forever, and I won't necessarily perform it in Mars, March 2021 at MarsCon. Huh, they held, hold it in the month that's named after the god of the god who, yeah. Anyway, uh, I will perform this song, though, I promise you. Ska is the greatest genre in the world. 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 Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Ska is the greatest genre in the world. Trombone solo! Scar is the greatest genre in the world. It's also in the universe. Scar is the greatest genre in the world. And also, and also in Minnesota. Scar is the greatest genre in the world. But what about prog rock? You really should choose prog rock. Some radio head and music. It makes me disappointed and it makes me so sad That you're still obsessed with such an immature teenage fan Prog rock has musical complexity, musical complexity, musical complexity Lots of things in 7, 8, musical complexity, musical complexity, musical complexity I can play my instrument, musical complexity, musical complexity, musical complexity You gotta put some musical change in your life And put some emotional range in your life So, uh, no offense to you if you are a fan of progressive rock But, like, look deep within yourself and ask yourself are you truly happy? Which proves that ska is the greatest genre in the world. Hey, hey, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ska is the greatest genre in the world. Ska is the greatest genre in the world. Yeah, one more time. Ska is the greatest genre in the world. I lied one more time before that. Ska is the greatest genre in the world. See you at MarsCon 2021! Yes! Thank you, Robbie, so much. So psyched to have you involved with MarsCon and being our music guest of honor for 2021. So I'm going to start off this uh, set of mine with a song that Dr. Demento recently said on his show is his favorite of my song parodies, which meant a lot to me to hear that. Uh, also, it has a connection to the Twin Cities area, which is where Dr. Demento is from. So, here we go. Hey, Maestro, how's the bottle of home center liven up the evening? That's what I like about you, Chuck. You really know how to roll a party. St. 
call. Come home, I bout snoop, be the dog snooze at the top. My dog has I may play a joke cool, but I know my place as a world famous World War One flying ace. Twas a stark and dormy night when I grab my ammo, face a cursed red baron and my sop with camel. I'm living my life as I wish, and I do a happy dance when there's food in my dish. If Woodstock is ever under attack, I'll smack the cat next door because I got that birdie's back. The king of full panel strips rules United Features Syndicate. What's my supper loving name? Snoopy the dog. Snoopy the dog. Da la da la da 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 la da la da 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 da. It's the round-headed kid, Cyan a frown on the pitcher's mound. Good old Charlie Brown, gonna win the baseball game, is his big belief. A line drive blew his clothes off again. Peppermint Patty calls him Chuck, and she thinks he's fine. It's the little red-haired girl who gets his valentine. Lucy's a thug, watch her lie like a rug. Pull the football away, he flies and lands with her. No shock, he's a block, and he will always get some mock. Christmas gets him down on Halloween, he got a rock. After losing yet another to the kite-eating tree, he said, why is everybody always picking on me? Snoopy the dog. Snoopy the dog. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 or more. The bloody red baron was rolling out the score. 80 men died trying to end that spree of the bloody red baron of Germany. Now White just believes the gray pumpkin's in the air. The blanket toting thumb sucker just don't care. Sally Sweet Babu won't face the truth. Need some help from the nickel psychiatry booth. Lucy's temper is huge. Begrudge a fuss budget who dislikes my pooch. Smooch. Thanks to Schroeder, she's betrothed. He just ignores a play in Beethoven. Stepping with Peppermint Patty. A Tom Boy with Marcy doting on her. Forget all them, cause there's no equal to me, the Street Beagle. What's my Charles Schultz a name? Snoopy the Dog. Snoopy the Dog. Thank you, Snoopy the Dog, Charles Schultz. <laughs> All right, so next up in the thingy thingy will be a song of mine that is very recent. In fact, it is the only song I've put out in 2020 that is not a cover, uh, and I seriously doubt I'm going to have the time to do any other new songs this year because I have uh, a life and a job and a thing and stuff I need to get done. So... <laughs> I still love comedy music, I just don't have time so much to make it anymore. Uh, so, anyway, um, if you have not seen season one of a certain show, then uh, this is going to have spoilers for you. But aside from that, um, hope you all enjoy it. One chooses to walk the way of the man of the world, give up the Save the life of this small round Yoda Gonna fly how a wee la lo I'm gonna save the life of this small round Yoda Gonna fly a long time ago I am a Mandalorian named in Jaren Kidnap and chagrin and a show off skins of sin Grief got me a job, huh. clients got the fob He been in the Empire slumming Skid Row like a slob Now he said we'll pay you with best Scar, sir. I'll update my armor. Got help from an ugh, not farmer. I'm not a blur charmer. IG sorta of crashed in, laser guns a blast in. Bomb just like a scud, a disposable assassin. Gunfire like crazy, found the asset maybe. 50 years old, wait, he's an actual baby. Gonna have to pay the piper. I'm a foundling swiper, flying through the space that's hyper. 
and I'll change his diaper. I'm gonna save the life of this small round Yoda. Gonna fly, spot it, fight a space where I know I'm gonna save the life of this small round Yoda. Gonna fly, waves his hand so low. Pretty soon, Cara Dune fought her when I flipped in. Blasters at our heads, child is watching, sipping Lipton. Why do people love me? I'm the X in this equation. What if Boba Fett had lived up to his reputation? Moff Gideon better step on back. I got a flamethrower on it and fly jet pack. So if you try to kidnap my small round Yoda, I can bring you in warmer, I can bring you in cold. Save the life of this small round Yoda. Gonna fly someplace I don't know. I dedicate my life to this small round Yoda. Gonna fly and do I hear a banjo? Thank you. All right, I got one more thing for you, and then that'll be the end of the show. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the MarsCon Comedy Music Sampler Platter. Uh, please come out to MarsCon 2021, whether it is being done virtually or in person. Uh, we're going to have music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis. We're also going to have performers, me, Luke Ski, Devo Spice, and Insane Ian. So we got our awesome music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis, and we have three guys who are there pretty much every year. Um, don't worry, we'll get more stuff happening. <laughs> But that's all we have to announce for right now. And for more updates, you can follow us at uh, on Facebook and on Twitter at MarsCon Comedy. And you can go to our website, which currently is MarsConDementia.com, but we'll soon be switching to MarsConComedy.com. So keep an eye out for that. For the main convention, go to MarsCon.com or MarsCon.org. You can register and find out all about everything else happening there. And uh, yeah, hope to see you all there. I'm closing with this piece uh, because... Uh, it's one of the ones I know I have memorized, and also it's another Star Wars song, and, you know, people always like that. Um, this was made at the very end of 2012, about three weeks after it was announced that uh, Disney was going to be buying Lucasfilm. So that made everybody ask the question, what is Disney going to do with Star Wars? And back then, I thought Disney was going to do this with Star Wars. So here we go. <laughs> upon a dead star makes no difference. Oh! <laughs> Jawas! Filthy creatures! Where are you taking us? The teeny 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 room. The teeny 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 room. All the droids are void and full of gloom. The teeny 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 room. Welcome to our traveling desert dump. Oh, in Lars and Badoo. Buy this protocol droid in this astromech and we'll throw in wall E to everybody in the teeny 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 room. The teeny 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 room. Watch Pollyanna Jones and the Temple of Doom in the teeny 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 teeny, teeny room. This is Tatooine, wretched hive of villainy. Better shoot first or it'll be your last. In our bar, everybody's mean. On this planet, Tattoo, I am the guy betting on a pod race. Now I've got hot debt collectors in my face. I am the guy who wants to cause Luke harm. Face like a walrus and a newly severed arm. Lives on a mountaintop on Tatooine. In his youth, he once rescued a queen. Trained Anakin with when he was just a teen, but couldn't stop him from becoming a machine. Obi-Wan Kenobi stinked up the vile frontier, taught Tarkin lies, told him he got my bluff. Alderaan is where I kept my stuff. Now it's debris, can't believe he blew up my world. Those poor unfortunate souls do Backs on the Dune Seas weren't here in the 70s. This special edition has things I don't know. When the Clone Wars start, he'll use martial art. Wields four blades like a Cuisinart. Robot bones and scary eyes. Lightsabers decorate his thighs. Ring, ring his goes and kills all the Jedi. 
eyes. Mr. Lord Vader, sir, who will my bounty be? Let me take your order, hunt them now. You ain't never had a fet like me. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, there's Sarlacc Pit! <laughs> I've got a fet in me. Let me out, I'm very popular. I've got a fet in me. It's a trap, it's a trap, we flew right into their lap. The Empire saw us coming soon, our ship will just be scrapped. Shields down, watch a sore Lando fly to that core. Those brave Ewoks sure are yellow, maybe they got help from Willow. Luke, I am your father, and so we are all connected in the circle of life. I'll redefine the genre serial myth. Oh, I just can't wait to be Sith. You've got a long way to go, my young apprentice. Remember Ahsoka Tano? Your part of one you called Snips? Yeah. And I realized she probably got murdered by my Order 66. Wait, what? You two were quite close and that makes you sad. But forget all that. Just get real mad. Embrace your hatred and see what happens. Get dark side powers to choke your captains like your dead wife from Naboo. Qui-Gon, man. Solid Qui-Gon. The band says Sithies of life will come to me, Sir Jar Jar, after all. No! You threw off my groove! I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. <clears throat> Me so sorry! You were saying? No! One! Blast them like hot, snuggles past them like hot. <laughs> taunt on in Aspen like hot. You was made every moon shark and boogie. For your causes, I really don't care. You can see his co-pilot, a Wookiee. That's right, cause every last inch of him's covered with hair. One freezes like hot. Carbon freezes like hot. Becomes decorative, sculptural, freezes like hot. And I killed Boba Fett without even trying. Who do we want? It's Han Solo, Solo, a smuggler's life for me. Oh, the king of the lightsabers, swingers, am I the Jedi VIP? Until we got attacked, the Empire struck back, and that's why I live in a tree. I want to be a Jedi Master and get my ship out of that ditch. Well, do or do not, there is no try and stop being such a whiny apprentice. Oh, well, no, duh. I want to be like Yoda. A Jedi Knight like Yoda, fight like Yoda so much. You know a Jedi craves not these things. So scat you wear with Kenobi while he sings. Hey! La Dot Newt Gunray, Max Rebo to who's salacious crumb. Dang, a Boba Fett, Bosk, IG-88, for La Java Bib, Fortune, Goxe, Bulba, Pondo Baba, Wivila, Sakura, Jandu Na Na, Wivula, Ma Ma Ma, Lobaka, Jewel, the Hut, Kia, Dean, Mundi, Lando, Jango, Greedo, Wato, Boss Nass, baby, Drama Spot, May Amadala, Kid, So and Grandma Stark, and Snacks, Lulu, and Palatine, and Wedge, and Bitten, Foden, B, Dexter, Jexter, Ahsoka, Juba guy, you woo woo. I wanna be like Lou woo woo. You wanna fly like Luke, spy like Luke, too woo woo. I must warn you, woo woo, the dark side is tempting. You can learn to be like someone like me. Take me home, Daddy. Can learn to be like someone like you. One time more, yeah. Can learn to be like someone like me. Can bait suck as Sam Wessel and Windu and Porkins and Yen Num and Trippy McCool and and wait, who are you? Ha! <laughs> I'm your father now. No. Took the dogs. <laughs> All right, that is it. Thank you so much. I have been the Great Luke Ski. This has been the MarsCon Comedy Music Sampler Platter. Thank you so much for watching. Come to MarsCon 2021, Forces of Darkness. <laughs>